We all have those places we like to escape to, you know, when all this cock just gets too heavy. Most of the time that place isn't the same way you remember it, but you find yourself going back there anyway. Sometimes that place doesn't even exist at all, except in your memories or your pictures. For you, that place is probably Clifton Beach or holidays in Gautini or that coffee at Vida or that time Becky Seyth will move under the school stairs after the school jaw. We don't need all that cuck. We can't hide from it anyway. In this darkness, I am reminded of a moment from that day when we had a better end of gods than life. Got my brood toothless, who basically will do anything to leave an impression in your mind. Pedro Sinclair, the caregiver, always puts other people's needs before his, and always going that extra mile to make sure that all his homies are happy. Kieran, born to be evil, who practically lives in Hell's Kitchen, one of the guys that understands the pain of the game, really putting his heart, soul and passion into skateboarding to take him away from the rest of the corruption that's happening in this area. Nay, how fast? Let's go back to the beginning. That day started off just like any other. The sun arose over the flats. Groups of school children buying cracker snack and bombies at the corner shop, waiting for each other before they head off to school. Electric cables were stolen again last night, which means the lights will be off. The same Naya slamming on the corner. The Gachi's voice yelling, Cape Town! The usual. It's like those nayas are laughing at us. Put in the spark in the heart of our hollow, basically the lion's den, where it's too dangerous to skate most of the time. Fucking empty waste.
Was it like my father's name? Yeah. Where's your wife? Yeah, you come in. Now you come in. Now you come in. We met at the same place as we always do, but there was something different about that day. A sense of restlessness. Back then I couldn't tell you what it was, but now I know that it was always there. So, Koki, yeah, what's the mission now? Are we going to match, Kat? The rest of the Owens decided to meet up with us in town so that we could take over these streets. As street skateboarders, we see the world and its cities as a blank canvas. And we are the artists and painters behind it. These infrastructures were never designed for us. Yet there's something so raw about skating street. It's the essence of skateboarding for me. Just keep pushing through the streets is the ultimate freedom. Even the security selling his cell for minimum wage couldn't fuck up our day. He's just some bra getting oppressed by his boss trying to oppress us with a little bit of power he has. But what people don't understand is this isn't a movement. It's a stampede. We stood overlooking Garden Skate Park at the end of what seemed to be a gefaarlijke day. We took it to the streets of Cape Town, but the victory was empty. These aren't our streets. This isn't our park. We asked for a park for the last 15 years, and the government act like they built this park for us. But they just needed to get rid of all the homeless people who used to call this bridge home. We knew there was only one place to go. Back.
said I've got it And everything you are, I'm not it I look at my reality, I'm thinking me Cause I'm my own personality, I'm gonna be fake Because my vision's far sighted and I'm running like comedy to change So I can see what's coming and there's no way I'm deterred Cause my best of to take over the world But just as quietly as the moment came, it leaves you and you are left to realize that you only hold this moment so close because most other days, life has the better end of cards and there's fuck all you can do about it. He's not just the boy who was killed in Valhalla Park. He was a member of a corrupted community Corrupted because of desperation. There is nowhere to hide. So we scuttle on. <laughs>